Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell. Alright, so we're in a bit of a conundrum because they said they wanted us to go forward. However, hello, Sam, oh my god, I want to see if I can, I want to see if it's possible to get this dude over here, oh there's two of them. I don't know if that's a thing I can do. Do you come over into the darkness? You do not. Okay. Will you come over into the darkness? If I do this, however. Oops. Because we already know that those guys over there don't have any satchels. I want to make sure that those guys don't have any satchels or anything that we need to get from them. One big street light, but I don't actually think I can turn off that street light, unfortunately. That's not right. No, it's not right. To go over and check that out, buddy. What? Why did he... Okay. I don't know why he noticed. Anything was wrong. Unfair. Hello. Go down the freaking... There we go. Sometimes it's so hard to make him go down the ladders. Alright. Try this one more time. Let's see if we can get him to come out here, say hello, do this properly. Unfortunately, we were like, we're surrounded by lights here, unfortunately. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't, but... You know? I can just get behind you. Oh, come on! What? What is going on here? Why are you noticing me in the pitch darkness? That shouldn't be happening. If he's, I guess if he's just too close, he'll notice. Well, thankfully we can take out some lights. Ugh. Should make it quite dark over here. And actually, if I take that light out, I'm curious to see if that guy will just notice and come down here, because that would make my life a whole lot easier. Likely not, though. Yep. Wow, he doesn't even notice that. This is the part I'm unsure about. I don't think that light's even killable. Like, I wish I had, like, a really... That's not right. Really? Oh my god. Search over here, buddy. Please. Is it coming over here? Okay, it looks like he is. Maybe. I just gotta... Get behind him if I can. There we go. Alright, well, nothing on this guy. I had a feeling. I had a feeling nothing on this guy anyway. However, 
this man over here might have something. He is quite a bit more difficult to get over to us, and we definitely can't attack him over there. I mean, let's make a quick save. But I'm pretty sure there's no real darkness over here. Oh, there is darkness over here. Yeah. I don't think this is possible. His patrol leads him around in a circle. Although, weirdly, it seems like it doesn't really look over here all that much, so... Maybe it is possible. Where do you end? You stop right there. Oh no, this is totally not doable. No way. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect to get this guy. Uh, it doesn't look like he'll drop a satchel for us anyway, so. All of that may have been totally and utterly useless. Just saying. But you know what? We got him. Anyway. Knock him out. Satchel? Nope. Well, you know what? Let's check out over here. Do we do anything? Do we have access to anything that we didn't before? I don't think so, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, all of this is nada. Alright, so I'm going to go back to this save. No reason to go back there. Nothing that we're missing. This is the part that we have to really pay attention to because the truck just went by. We need to get on that truck. However, there's also a security camera somewhere. Where's the security camera? People all over here. I don't think this guy has anything, but... Oh, looks like the truck stopped for us anyway. Where is the... I hear it, but I don't see it. Well, welcome to Splinter Cell, I guess. Ah, there it is. Okay, I see it finally. So does that go back and forth? How far does it go this way? Okay, it doesn't look like- it doesn't actually go to the right here. So as long as we slip in under that camera, we're okay. There is one guy over here. That we can, uh, real quick grab him and... Just pull him away. It doesn't look like he's gonna drop anything either. And then we deal with that camera and move forward. Actually, truthfully, I don't remember if you can break that camera or not. No satchel on this guy. Okay. Time to do some tests. Unfortunately, in this game, like, you really don't know whether or not you're going to be able to deal with uh, technology until you try it for the first time. Nothing over that way. So here's a question. Can I break you?
Hello. Hey, it's me again. May I see your papers? This is the seventh. You can break it. Night. Can we give the papers a rest? This protocol comes directly from Peyron. Let me see your ID. Thank you. Authorization should only take a minute. So this will get us in while he's reading those authorizations. Here we go. We're in. Very good. You're cleared. Have a good night. I'm going to make another save just in case that screws me over, but I'm pretty sure that's all we needed to do to get in here. Unfortunately, that guy just sits and watches, right? No, he turns away. Take the guard out of his little post. Well, bang. He had a satchel. Data stick. That's what I live for, data sticks. All right. Ji Zhao, thanks for the recommendation. The feud was, as you say, incredible. However, that was not the end of my spicy sticks experience, as you might have heard between the laughter and jeers of our comrades. I spilled a j jar of their fish sauce on my pants, and it looked like I had shamed myself. Not only that, but it turns out that the smell drove the dogs on my patrol crazy. Three of them ran at me, and I thought they would tear me apart. I had to jump one of the streams to get them off my track. Very embarrassing. <gasps> Ooh, that, uh, that sucks, buddy. So, there is an alarm in here. Uh, we don't want to go in there while it's light. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure if I turn it off, this dude... Who did that? Yep, he's going to come right over here. And I think he's going to go the back way, which means he's going to find our buddy right here. Yep, and he'll see us, because apparently if they just get close enough, that's, that's, you know, you can't do anything about it. So, um, I think, if I want to take out both of these guys, we're going to have to be very careful about it. So grab him, pull him out, kind of like... Doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna do it over here. Grab the satchel. Switchy object. Hey! Turn the lights back on! I think maybe this'll be good, but because then as he comes around the corner, he'll see him. Oh, or or not, he'll see me. What? And he'll see me here. Or not. Okay, you know what? If it works, it works. He didn't see me, he didn't see his buddy. Any satchel from you? No. Let's just move this guy out of the light, and then I'll switch off the box one more time. No reason to leave that out in the open. We wouldn't be a professional spy, right? Okay. That takes care of a couple of the guys. I know I'm making a lot of saves, but... Really hard to do that. This without that. There are dogs now. The dogs are... Smell things. Oh, lord. Forgot about the dogs. Okay. Um. Well, there's the truck. That's where there that ended. And if you were thinking about, oh, wait, hold on. Can't do that either. Now, unfortunately, the dogs will sort of catch you. Wherever you end up going, like even if you're under here, which is what I assume these trucks are for, the dogs will uh, start to sniff you out a little bit. So let's see if I can show that off. I did make a save over there, so we're <laughs> we won't have to backtrack that much. 
pretty sure even if you keep your distance. Oh, okay. Dog didn't notice me. How far? How close do I need to get for the dog to notice me again? All right. Well, I got past them, so I'll just make this and let's see how close I have to be for the dog to notice me. Because I can take out the soldier. And, yeah. And then the dog will just follow you. Because the dog's amazing. And the dog will keep following. And that will mean that guy will keep following you. And it turns into this whole cluster of annoyance. We can, of course, take out the dude. I don't think the dog is an attack dog? Oh, it absolutely is. Alright, so never mind. We're just not going to bother with that dog. God, the dogs are such a problem to deal with. I don't know of any way to deal with the dogs other than killing them. Um, and I don't want to do that because I'm... What? How? And of course, if you shoot the dog, he's going to notice you. We're just going to move past everything here. I believe if you go into the water, you like wash off the scent. So the dogs can't follow you. Um... Oh, it's just that your scent was there, so the dog's like, Oh, there was someone here. But I don't think the dog will follow you in the water. Right? No way. Does the dog follow you in the water? Okay, never mind. The dog will follow you in the water. Alright, well... Just go quick. No reason to linger anyway. We can go down into the center here, I think. Oh, no, no, we can't. That's fine. No one's taking a look at us right now. No one knows where we are. And if we keep moving, not an issue. We can get all the way over here. Do we need to hear what that guy's saying? We pull out our. Laser mic. Hmm. Not close enough yet, huh? Arm in one and place the next. Of course the arc. But you know the details. We need to strike together, or we may as well not strike at all. Nicolas, listen to me. Because you will reveal us. That's ridiculous. How could they listen? That's paranoia, but fine, fine. No, fine. We will have a safe conversation. I will call you back from my car. Okay, so he's going to his car. Good lord, Fisher. That's General Kong Ferran. Good Hello? Get Who's that? He was the chairman of Oh my god. I can't get out of the thing. Very high PLA muckle. A Chinese general talking to Nikolaus is a good news. Whatever he's going to say when that conversation resumes just became our highest priority. Stay with him. Time to get invisible. Anyone so much as sees you when the mission's over. Do I not have a silencer on this? I'm sorry, dog. Oh wait. You know what? There we go. Doggy is knocked out. Not a problem. So we need to stay with the guy, but we're not really exactly timed or anything, so we're pretty safe.
So we can't be seen during this portion. This is what I kept all the airfoil rounds and sticky rounds for. Frankly, I, I find it a little bit easier to deal with these guys. What the hell was that? Oh, okay. Whoops. So let's uh go through this real quick. I'll 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 skip ahead to getting through this air er that area. It seems like I'm going like too far forward for the uh guard to actually follow. And so even though the dog gets to me, like it doesn't really do anything. Yes, I realize. Okay. Yeah, I'll get back to where we just were. Okay, so here we are. We're in that same part of the mission. For whatever reason, the dog is no longer uh, aggroed on us. And just stop caring about us, I guess. That's the guy we got a tail. I don't suppose the laser mic. Not what we want. The car gets right over there. How many times will the signal be rerouted? You also believe your corner peninsula base untraceable. I understand the psychology of war. Yes, yes. I've attended many executions, but never Americans. Oh, hold on a second. Driver, how far away is the trouble meet? Ten minutes, maybe more. But we'll have to stand a police check along the way. No, it's not worth the trouble. I will just watch the broadcast like everyone else. <laughs> yes, too true. <laughs> you are a wicked man, Mr. Nicolas. I hope your performance goes well. Take They're going to execute the soldiers. Sounds like it. You've got to stop them. Rendezvous with Cohen. I'll forward her the coordinates for Mook. Mook Tobo. Right. Auspicious hunting ground. Damn straight. The time for subtlety is past. I need to get this to the Joint Chiefs. See if this means war. Okay. So apparently you just had to do that. I didn't realize that you were only doing that. Far side of the wall beyond the gatehouse, so you do need to get over there. He does say that the time for subtlety is over, so you can just fucking kill people now if you want. Um, I don't super recommend it because killing people is really hard in this game. Especially if you're playing on the harder difficulties. Man, I wish we could just like whistle. Now these guys are walking around all over the place, really. Oops. Let's see. Do I have anything that'll... Sticky camera, smoke grenades, diversion camera. Yeah. I think they want you to just, like, run through these people, but... Frankly, not a great idea. <sighs> I'm gonna get there, and he's gonna turn right around. Hmm. Well, I wonder if the sticky... If, uh... Using the electric thing is the way to go here. Alright. Out of sheer curiosity. And I'll reload to that point if that's the case, but... Nope, not what I wanted. Because the sticky shocker could take out the dog. Pretty instantly, too. I don't think this guy is a satchel. But... Out of sheer, sheer curiosity. Do you?
Nope. Does not. Waste of ammo. Well, now I'm curious here, because... Would we have just stayed here the whole time? Pretty safe spot. Okay. Can I... Just take out this dude now? I, in fact, can. Okay. Well, we got out. Have another airfoil round ready. Bam. What? Pick this guy up. Okay. That was pretty successful, all things considered. Especially because I believe we're getting towards the end of this level anyway. And we're going to get a resupply. So, there we go. Okay. That knocks out those two guys. And I'm still looking for satchels. That's the real reason why I wanted to take them out. I don't think that there's anything in here. Lock jammed, yeah. You can't even get in there if you wanted to. I do wonder if that area was, like, created and they wanted to use it, but they just scrapped it. So there is, in fact, a security camera up there. I don't know whether or not it sees inside of the booth. But I don't think so. So. I've got an armed hostile! What? What armed hostile do you have? Did he see me on the camera? I don't know. I'm making another one just so I don't have to keep going across everything. Or can you just weirdly see me? Oh, it might have been the camera. So it goes all the way that way. Comes all the way here. Does it see into the... Oh, no, it doesn't see into here. An American commando! Oh. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to waste my last airfoil round. I've got an Maybe it's just... His ice, his actual freaking like vision cone, when he's turning and like checking. Oh my god, it is. Huh. I don't know how I never thought to see if their vision cones change. All right. Well, apparently it's that. That's what was really screwing me up the whole time. Okay. That's all the security guards. None of them have anything, so frankly, going after that guy was kind of useless. Um, we can't, can't go up there. He wants us to go to the other side of the wall on the far side of the embassy, so... Yep, you guessed it. We're just climbing out the pipe, I believe. I think. Is this the way we're going? Oops. No? Is that not the way we're going? Oh, it's this pipe. There we go. And yeah, this is going to be the end of the mission. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here, but I wanted to check. So we got all the data sticks. Yay! It's a pretty difficult mission. I'm not going to lie. We can't see you at all if I don't leave this on. Hop in the back. We gotta go. Grab hold of something. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. We're getting very close to the end of the game, actually, believe it or not. Like, two missions away, I want to say? Or one mission, maybe? I don't know. Chinese Empire. Ooh, this might be the very last 
main mission of the game. There are some extra missions, and I did download them, so we'll, we'll, we will be doing those. I don't know how hard they are. I've never actually played them, but yeah. Intelligence gathered at the embassy links Nikoladze to Kong Firong, a prominent general in the People's Liberation Army of China. Additional information reveals that captured American soldiers will be executed on Nikoladze's order during a webcast from Muxobo Muxo meets oh, a nearby slaughterhouse in a few short hours. Though the evidence itself has not been revealed, U.S. intelligence is claiming to have proof of China manufacturing nuclear weapons, a blatant infraction of international treaties. China has made an unmitigated denial of the charges, restating the belief that diplomatic talks with China continue to crumble. U.S. military forces are mobilizing towards the anticipation of possible hostilities. China again denies any involvement in Combein Nikoladze's Oh my god Broadcast through the internet just minutes ago Cannot allow my nation to be subjected to the blatant international despotism of the United States or the cronyism of its allies The world is not yours alone and the soldiers you send into it are all equally guilty of American fascism at 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Standard Time, the United States soldiers captured in a just war against their motherland will be executed. Their deaths broadcast for the world to watch. Uh-oh. So we're going to the Muxobo Meats factory. Rescue the captured U.S. troops. In a desperate act of defiance against the U.S., Nikoladze arranges the immediate live webcast executions of the captured U.S. soldiers. Vyacheslav, Vyacheslav Grinko will direct the soldiers' deaths. The executions must be prevented to prevent to preserve any hope of stabilizing political relations with the Chinese. <laughs> oh boy. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nikolaj kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killings. Nikolaj is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. That's your first objective. You'll find the rest on your offset. All right. So we got to be able to get up there. If you remember from the very, very beginning, you can, in fact, scale these walls. No reason to, uh... Go through them like normal. Oh, sneaky. There's a little grate on that light. But you can't actually shoot it out. There's like three people here. But getting through this area sucks. I mean, there's dark spots, but not a lot. And they're very much on alert at all times. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this is a decent timing to get them. I feel like I'm in a relatively safe area right here. When they all come together like this. Oh, that's not a good time. That's a that's a lot of shooting. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nikolaj kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? What now, that? the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killings. Nikolaj is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. First objective. Dang it. Find the rest on your Unfortunately, I think that guy gonna go over to me. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nikolaj kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. It'll buy us time to stop the killings. Nikolaj is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. That's your first objective. You'll find the rest on your offset. Okay, so if I'm right here. You can't really see us. I really wish we could take out that light, but it is unfortunately not within our ability. I guess I could scale it and go over there, but we're trying to get all the data sticks and everything, so not going to help us. Uh, basically, what I need to do is get to that guy when everybody's turned around and nobody's looking. So as soon as this guy starts to move, we go. They're also not perfectly timed or anything like that. Oh, that was weird. I got one of them. A 
Okay. I think... I'm saving before I hit this guy because... Pretty sure as soon as I... Whop him. Oh yeah, and we can switch that too. That'll... Create a big distraction for us, but... Let's see if I can't take care of the other guys first. I'd like to take that guy out next. Oh, come on. Alright, so I can... Get back here. Ruin your day a little bit. I need to get a little closer before I go over there. Unfortunately, he, like, walks right by this area. What? Oh, because it was a grate. I was like, why Why do you suddenly go crazy? Oh, this part's such a difficult... God, I remember the last mission here being actually really difficult because of this. It waits a lot longer here. Maybe I just stay in the darkness behind the dumpster. <laughs> Wait for him to come this way. And then we'll move on. I, I guess I might go after that guy as well. He he stands a relatively long amount of time at the other end of that fence. Just to see if they have any data sticks. I don't think any of these guys do. But, like I said, I've never gotten all of them. I've certainly done a lot in this game. Alright. You'll never know what happened to your friends, no. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, well, that's fine. Don't always, don't always need a data stick. Even though it makes me feel better. Hello? What is your AI doing? Are you just standing there? What the f- uh? What? <gasps> oh! Satchel! Data stick! Yay! Dearest David, I know you can't give me specifics, but please at least let me know you're not taking- part in that awful business with the executions. I've seen some of their faces on the news. I know they're Americans, and I know they're soldiers. I know they would kill you if they had the chance, but killing them for an audience is somehow too much. I keep seeing the Willard boy's face on the news. He's barely any older than little Pavi. I miss you too, but I want to do it with a pure heart. Please let me know you're not part of these barbaric executions. Love, Amelia. Bad news, Amelia. Your uh, boyfriend's a terrible person. Oops. We got division cameras, we have sticky cameras, smoke grenade, disposable picks, two of them, that's important. Gun, okay. Alright, well, first area taken care of. I think that deserves a little save. And now the question becomes, well, do we use the door? Why would we? Why would you ever use the door? Colonel, this is Badri. The landmines are in place. Make sure nobody without the polarized thermal sensor enters the courtyard. What? That's right. We got a deal with landmines. So, landmines are a thing. Surprise. 
They flash. Where you do, of course, know where the landmines are. Oh, there's nobody in here. But there is a computer. Probably another data stick. Yep, another com data stick. Medical kit in the corner. No reason not to go through here, that's for sure. Let's read that data stick that we got. Where is okay, that was loud. Data stick. Gentlemen, I've been asked to arrange for Nikoladze's extraction should the need arise. This, of course, will only come to play in the event of the worst possible chain of events. Colonel Chachin... Chachin Diz, ah, but whatever. You, of course, will handle all the details in relation to the coordination of the helicopter and pilot, who is not to be notified of his destination until he is in the air. You and Pirtkshal Pirt Pirt will then spearhead the response to whatever threat has instigated the extraction. Colonel Vonogrov, Vonogrov, Vonogradva, Gradova, Vonogradova, my god, these names. You will... Assist Grinko in our third backup plan for the execution of the Americans, as well as covering communications to the to General Feirong back at the embassy, so that he may destroy all evidence of his activities. I have every faith that we will not come to this point, but we must be prepared. Yeah, they have a... Yeah. They have, basically, a... Uh, a backup plan for, like, everything. So... Not great for us. Somebody's coming. What? They heard that. Part of me really wishes that you're going to come all the way down here and activate the uh, freaking mines. I don't know if your AI will let you do that, though. Well, they're searching for someone. What? Alright, hold on. Who the heck saw me? Now, of course, he walks right on top of the one. I do find it funny how, like, nobody... Nobody says anything at all about it. It's just like, oh, well... They died. He was shit at his job anyway, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So what was with the instant... Alarm. That was weird. There is things there. What? This operation is based around stealth. I don't even see where the dude is shooting me from. Something very weird is happening there. Is it the spotlight catching me? It is. Okay. But the spotlight's not making any light. I... <sighs> think I've got a little problem with uh, the graphics that I might need to figure out before I'm able to do this section properly. Yeah, that's definitely the spotlight as soon as I step into it. Regardless of whether or not I'm actually... Hidden. I seem to be getting caught, so... That's not good. What was that? Nothing. That goes this way, and then it goes all the way to the right. I can't go there. Maybe it was a 
It looks like there's no lights other than the big spotlight, so... I can move as long as the... Spotlight's out of the way. Alright, where are these? There's one right there. In the middle of the area. I'm not entirely sure how to get past that one, considering the spotlight stays over the whole thing. Yeah, it already comes back. Huh. Let's see, there's one right here. There's one right there. I can't actually use that for cover from the light either. So here's a big question. Did I go far enough that it won't see me? Kaboom, anyway. This... Hmm. I think I need to go on that side. Nope, I can't go on that side. Can't even go under. Um, hmm. What the hell? I'm not even in it there. That's ridiculous. Okay, I need to, like, fix this because this is unplayable. So I guess uh, I'll have to end this one a little early. Thank you all for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll have the lighting fixed so that I can actually, you know, do this section properly. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.